Hi everyone and happy Monday! We have a planner page today from Magical Jungle and we have a cute little ring-tailed lemur here and lots of plants, um, flowers, leaves, that sort of thing going on. It's going to be quite a mammoth page I think. I've picked my Castle Art Soft Touch. I don't think I've used them for a little while so I thought it would be good to use something a little bit different. Not sure where I'm going to start. I think I'll just start here. Let's start in the corner. There's quite a lot going on. I think this is going to be quite a batch of videos, but I'm sure we can get through. I'm going to do this one here. It looks like a comb. <laughs> I'm going to do that one first. I'm just going to grab the Hooker's Green, which I thought would be a good colour to start with. I've just got to try and find it. There it is. Oh, it's quite a short one. Um, here we go. Hooker's Green. So yes, Castle Art Soft Touch today. If you don't have these, I do have some comparison charts with other brands, so you should be able to colour along. Now my aim is to get this edge quite intensely dark. So that's where, what I'm doing to start with. So I'm just layering it up a little bit, and then we're going to fade it down those leaf bits and uh, make their tits a little bit lighter. But we're just going to go for it. I haven't planned anything for this page. I've got no idea what I'm going to do um, with the whole page. I'm just thinking about one item at a time. So here we're going to start to fade it down there like that. We'll grab another colour for the tip, a lighter green. So just sort of taper it off really. I find sometimes with these my eyes go a bit funny and I start accidentally colouring the in-between bits instead. So I'm trying to concentrate quite hard. <laughs> I don't want to sort of colour in there. I mean, I'm sure I could do something with it and make it work, but I don't really want to. I'd rather do it right, or how I want to do it. It isn't really right and wrong. This is my boy's birthday today, which is nice. Got up. See, I've gone out of the lion's head, but I'm not going to worry about it. Got, got one son up a little bit early so that they could open their prezzies before their dad, dad went off to work. Um, they've had quite a few treats already. We were out for the day yesterday. For a nice little picnic out. Um, my one son isn't that keen on going out places really, but he did it to sort of so that we could do something together. My other son prefers it. And then they had takeaway at the weekend. And uh, now this way it gets tricky. I'm just going to concentrate. There we go. Okay. Now a slightly lighter colour. I'd like something a little bit yellowy. Although I'm just going to darken this a bit more actually just to satisfy me there. And I'm thinking, I was going to go yellow. I'm looking at my swatch chart. I wonder whether the sap green might be better, but I, I just like the yellowy greens. I'm going to go for the cadmium green. I think it's this one. There it is. One of my shorter ones again. So here it is, cadmium green. I'm going to sharpen this again. I'm going to start from the base and go upwards so that we blend it up into the other green, hopefully. Or layer it on top or something. So yeah, so, but today they just wanted to, to do computer games all day, which is fine, but I was going to cook them a special tea, but I've got half the ingredients, so that's interesting, and I, they don't want to come out for a walk, so I don't know what to do, I might go out a bit later, I'm quite decided yet. I talked to them about it at lunchtime. It's pouring with rain. Oh, it was. I should stop now. Mm. And I was just um, doing a few jobs this morning. See, husband's been off for four days and we were painting the bathroom and finishing up all the little jobs there. And now I feel like I want to get the house all clean and tidy. And uh, because we didn't do a proper clean on Sunday because we were in the middle of decorating. But I've done a little bit of cleaning up and tidying and we have to work out what's going on here. Hmm. So that is surely there. Must be. 
Um, these down here are going to be tricky. I think I'll just do these bits first and then we'll work it all out. It won't be that hard. Um, and if we do it wrong, we do it wrong. Who's watching? Nobody. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I, I finished the blind. I had to cut the blind down a bit to fit the window. Because um, I, I, the blind that was in here, this office room, was red. I don't know why we picked a red blind. I think it was all we could find when we were shopping for blinds for this room. But when I um, tried to use it for recording... It's got to be that and that. I'm going to say it must be the thinner pieces, like that. Um, when I tried to put it down for recording, because it was red, the sun was shining, it made everything look red so it wasn't, I'd, so I couldn't use it. I always find these huge leaves really daunting. We're going to have a go. Let's go for it. So I'm going to use, let's have a look at the colours that we've got available. I'm going to start with the maybe emerald green. I think it might be down in this tray of pencils. Just trying to know. Uh, mint. It gives you time to catch up or to find your pencils anyway. Where's the emerald green? Where are you? Juniper, sap, Prussian. I found everything but... Is that it? No. Where can it be? very strange. Hmm. Am I just not seeing it? That one. Is it that one? There it is. The only one I didn't turn over. <laughs> we're going to start with the emerald green and we're going to use it on the edge. Start with the darker edge and then go lighter in to the middle. I find that a bit of an easier way to do it. And this is quite a light and bright completely different shade of green to this which is what I want. I want to try and mix up the colours in this. I don't know whether it's going to end up looking like a big mishmash but you know we'll see. So I'm going to sort of fade this as we get towards the end of this bit. You see I'm just tapering it off so we're going to put another colour in there. Um, yeah I'm going to just do the same with each bit. So anyway, this morning I just finished cutting, yeah, the red blind was in here and so I had to buy a new blackout blind that was cream for in here to when I was recording. So I've done that and so the red blind that was in here was spare. So we thought, see the bathroom job, although it cost a lot of money, the aim was to not make the bathroom look amazing. It was just to patch it up, make it look as good as we could without completely redoing everything. So we um, we replaced our shower, which had to be. There was no no choice because the tiles were all mouldy behind the water was seeping through everything, you know. So we replaced that and the bits of the broken floor. So the floor is being replaced on Friday, but only the bit that was damaged. So it's going to be patched in with some spare flooring we've got from a different bathroom. So we're going to have a different coloured bed, but it's in front of the shower where we normally always have a mat down so it should be fine and the we painted the walls because they were mouldy um, and we're hoping that we use mould resistant paint the mould might have been so bad because of all the wet floor and everything else so we're hoping that that might resolve that situation so we've killed all the mould and repainted and we just used a white mould resistant paint because we needed it everywhere, and the ceiling and the walls. They're hmm. coming in there. That's it. And everything. So we use same white. So it's a bit boring. And the blind was mouldy too. So I found the old red blind that was in here, and needed to cut it down to fit. And it was quite hard work. We don't have a saw. You have to cut the roller. It's got a cardboard um, sort of internal piece that the fabric blind is wrapped around you have to cut that you may have done it yourself and we don't have a saw that was very handy so we were trying to cut it with a knife we managed it I mean, it had to be very it was quite a blunt knife it was fine and then snip the fabric and everything else and um it was quite tricky to get it right size 
it took us about five attempts and by the time we started yesterday afternoon by the time yesterday evening came we were still trying to get it right and in the end I said that I'll just do it tomorrow so I finished it um, this morning and got that all sorted out so that's the next step I need to clean the shower um, because it um, hasn't been cleaned since it was put up and there's some sort of greasy fingerprints in there if you I might you might want to put some paper down here because I'm actually going over the edge here a little bit and it's going on to this picture look so I should really so I saw I saw put a bit of um, paper in there this is just some a couple of sheets of scrap paper there are um, printouts of them swatch charts that I did wrong that um, if I put them face to face so that there are blank sides the blank sides are against the book then it works um, anyway so replace the blind and then we just basically cleaned up you know dusted the tops of the cupboards which were you know really manky and things like that so it was really the whole idea was to try and just tidy and make it cleaner and better rather than doing a proper full refurbishment <clears throat> excuse me now I'm just trying to find my next colour mm, I think I'm going to go for the leaf green middle this might be a little bit more yellowy so I'm going to go over everything here he is And then just extend that colour down towards the middle. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping that it looks nice. But, you know, it could be better because some bits are patched. Like around the sink this, and on the windowsill there are tiles. And they don't match the uh, new shower, which used to have those tiles in it. So, you know, it was just like, well... We just can't, don't want to do all of it, you know. And there's a few plumbing jobs that I need doing as well around the house. I need to ask my regular plumber to come and do. Um, one of the loos doesn't flush properly. It flushes enough to work, but it makes a strange noise. So uh, I need to get that sorted out. And one of the plugs on one of the sinks isn't working properly. So I need to call him in to do that, which it's just like I've been having workman after workman. I just want to have a little break <laughs> and catch up with some work. You may have noticed I've got a bit behind. Um, I'm putting a few compilation videos up again because I've just, I'm struggling to fit in all the recording, especially with the Ivy ones are an hour, which is much longer than I would normally do a video for. But um, I'm enjoying those. They're great fun, but they're just long. So it takes a lot of time and energy because I find that normally in a day I can probably do about two hours of recording and then I sort of run out of voice and things to say and that sort of thing. And although I can colour for much longer. Oh, the sun's come out. Hmm. I'll see how we go. It's raining just now. We're getting a lot of shadow from the sun. We'll see. As long as we don't get the sort of tripod shadow coming right across, I think we're... It looks a bit bright, doesn't it? If I come in a bit closer, sometimes it makes it look a bit darker. Mm. Not sure, it's a bit glary. I'm going to shut the blind. There we go. Now you can see the depth of the colour a little bit better, I think. Um, feel happier now with that um so oh, what is it saying yeah we need the plumber in i've got to have my alarm serviced there's always something isn't there but I, what i really want to do now is do a big old spring clean of everywhere um as i said i've just got to clean out the shower cubicle and then the bathroom is done apart from the floor but i think i might wait until the floor is done before i clean it because well actually I can clean it and shut the door. It shouldn't get dirty again, should it? But, yeah, as I say, it's sort of fingerprints and 
they look black on the chrome. I don't know what they were using on their hands that made them look so dirty. I did clean some off on the outside that I noticed and then I stood in there to paint it and I noticed it was filthy inside as well. So, but soap and water is all I can allow to use in there. But I got it off. So I need to do that and that's fine. The kitchen is fairly clean, it's just the rest of the house. But uh, anyway, we'll get there slowly, bit by bit. It would be nice to work through each room and make each room look perfect, but I know that's never going to happen because her uh, husband has too many things. I was sort of contemplating, I'm just going to sharpen the other day, how I could have less things around, but I think it's just impossible, you know. With his ADHD, he likes to be surrounded by things. He says if his things are put away, he can't see them, so he doesn't use them. You know, he doesn't read his books or do his art if it's all put away, so he wants it all out. It's just tricky. So, uh, I mean, I can, I can understand that. You know, sometimes I'm looking through my bookcase and I'm like, oh, I haven't used that book for ages, you know colouring books and things. I'm sure you probably do the same thing. Now I've got these lovely long leaves here. So pretty. Um, what should we do with these? Um, just looking at my greens. Let's go a bit different. Let's grab a... What's that leaf green? That's too light. Um, a sap green. It's a little bit more of a browny green. Sap green. Oh, now you can't see because... And I'm going to fade it down as well, and we'll use a different colour on the tip. Now, just working out what's going on here, I think this is the whole leaf in here. And here. I'm trying to put it on quite intensely here, so layering it up a little bit. Now, this is a gap. So I need to be a little bit careful in there. And there. And just sort of fade it down. I don't want to fade it down too um, quickly. I am a bit possibly. I want to leave the green almost all the way to the tip. So I'm just keep applying just a light layer all the way down like that. So we've only got a little bit without. And this one, we've got to go. Now these dips are, I've got a line across so they're not slightly different. I'm still going to do them the same colour. I think it's a little bit easier when you've got so much going on to do little chunks in the same colour. It's just my thought. You don't have to keep. Um, hmm, I think that must be the edge there. I would think there must be a bit in there and here. Um, I find it easier than keeping on picking out and picking and choosing colours can be quite hard for me. So I find if I keep bits the same, it makes it a bit simpler. But you might not have that. You might find it easy. Sometimes I'm in different moods. I'm going to go over those dots. I'm going to assume they are coloured because get around them. There we go. So the colour I'm going to use with this is a bit different. It's the green gold. Okay. And I'm going to go up from the tip. I need to sharpen it though. Very blunt. There we go. So I'm going to start on the tip of this one with quite an intense layer and then just gently fade it up into the sap green and fade it out about halfway up. It's not an exact science. Do what feels and looks right to you. Like that. Just sort of be a bit different to have a a different colour tip to just green. We'll do some other colours in our leaves as well. So this won't be the only one that's a bit different. I hear my son laughing next door. <laughs> so 
nice hearing them laugh. Right, we have this, um, I could do these ones coming up the same as this, but I think they look a bit, I don't know, it didn't look as nice as I'd hoped. So I'm going to move quickly on and do this one. <laughs> I think this is a bit too brown for my liking, and that just makes it look browner. I thought it might look, make it look warmer. It doesn't matter. I think once we've done lots of different colours, it will be fine. Now this one. There's another one like this at the bottom, so I might do them the same. It's quite small, so I'm only going to pick one colour, so I'll pick carefully. Um, I think I will do it in the juniper green. Is that it there? Yeah. Give it a sharpen. Okay, here it is. Juniper green. And I'm just going to block them in because they're quite small. And even though I'm sort of moving from this corner downwards, as I said, there's another one that looks exactly like this. So I'm just going to do it with this colour as well. It just um, makes it a bit simpler with regards to choosing colours. So it's right down at the bottom here. There's only this little bit here. Just do it in this juniper. Oops, out of the line she goes. That was quite bad. Just seeing if there's any more, but there isn't. So I think we might work on this sort of bunch here. But it's just, we're going to have to come out quite a bit because there's... Now, you could do all these, like that one looks quite similar to that one and that one. These look different. We could do them all the same, or we could do these three and then these. I think I might do these three. I could come in back in a little bit closer. I might do these three and then those differently. So I've got an idea. I just need to look at my colours. Um, yeah, that's the one. Oxide of Chrome. Here it is. It's very blunt. Going to give it a sharpen, give you time to find it. I'm going to use that at the base of those three. That's the three, not tree, three. <laughs> that I pointed out. So we'll start with this one here. And again, I want a more intense colour down here on the base. And then start to sort of fade it down. There was an alarm going off last night. Well, just as I went up to bed, I go up at nine and then um, call my son into the shower. One has a shower and the other between nine and ten sort of thing. And uh, I go up and I sit in my bed and I just chill, play some games and just relax for a bit before going to sleep. It's rather nice. And uh, there was an alarm, a house alarm going off like a burglar alarm, and it was seemed extremely loud. Um, I even thought it was ours to start with, but it wasn't. <laughs> I think it would have been a lot louder than deafening if it was ours. But anyway, so, and I peeked out, and there's a house right at the end of the road. On the other side of them, there's a little road that runs across the end of our road. So it's on the other side and I could see there was a little box on the side that had a red flashing light. So I assumed that was their alarm box and I assumed it was theirs going off. And I was like, my goodness. And it was going on for ages and I thought, they must be out. But there was a car in the drive. But of course, it doesn't mean anything. Uh, I think I need to taper this down just a bit more like that. I want to get... Because the colour I'm blending into isn't an obvious match. So we need to, we might, we can always go over the green a bit if it needs it. Um, so I was like, oh, this is going to be all night. And I thought, well, I guess I can close the windows and the vents in the windows to uh, make it a bit quieter. But I thought, oh, I'll just wait. And the husband came up for some reason. And, oh, he was trying to fit the blind, but it didn't work. He hadn't quite cut it anyway. Um, and um, he um, he was like, 
well, that's going to be on all night, isn't it? I don't want not necessarily. I mean, some people have their burglar alarms. Um, I'm just choosing my next colour. Yeah, I think this is the one that I want. I've got to find it, though. Burnt Sienna. For those of you looking. I don't know where mine is. There it is. Um, but I thought some people have their alarms connected to the police, so the police come out and deal with it. And some people have them um, connected to their alarm company or something, so they can come out and fix it if it's doing that. And um, it might be that they would just came home and sorted it out. You know, it looks to me like they're having work done on the house, so I don't know whether, you know, someone could have cut through the cable or something, but then would have been doing work at nine o'clock at night. I suppose if it was a friend rather than a paid workman, might be. Anyway, it stopped, fortunately, after about 20 minutes. But it was a strange alarm because it was changing in its tone. You know how um, sirens do that? I don't know if you've ever noticed, they change so that they're not always a flat sound and it helps it to sort of echo round apparently. There's some sort of science behind it. And this one was doing the same thing. Now, of course, um, when a house alarm goes off, should you be phoning the police? And should you be investigating to see if there's been a burglary? I don't know what to do. What is the standard thing to do? Because I don't want to waste the police time and say, there's an alarm going off, they might be going, well, so what? You know. Um, we're going to move to these. Um, I'm going to do these lighter. Um, what haven't we used? Let's have a little look. Let's start with the Castle Green Deep. Where is it? Here it is. It's quite a dark, but a more of a bluey green. So we've got a bit of a different colour going on. Now, looking at these leaves, this one and this one, look a bit different to these yeah what I'm going to do is use the same color combo but color them in a slightly different way and I'll show you I'm going to do this one I'm going to put down a light layer of this and then from each line just fade towards the next one like that and then the other half is going to be in the colour, other colour that I use, which I haven't decided yet. Like that. And do the same thing. I'm going to pretend those dotted lines are just solid lines. Do the same thing. Like that. But for these, I'm going to make my darker colour at the bottom, just like I've been doing with the rest. So just a sort of medium pressure and then fade up to the tip. I'm going quite fast, aren't I? I'm, getting, I'm enjoying it. I'm getting carried away. Uh, same with this one. This one looks a bit different to, well, it doesn't matter. Now, I realise that this video is interrupting a... Ooh, I don't think I should have coloured that in, that gap there, but never mind. Um, is interrupting a um, series. The Ivy Dragon Treasure series is very long. But uh, being a double page with lots of little bits, but I've been really enjoying it, I have to say. But we'll finish it this week, I'm sure. So that was Castle Green Deep. Um... Hmm. I think I might go with the mint green light. I am trying to mix up a few different colours rather than going for like the castle green light or the castle. Yeah, it's a little bit different. Like we did here. Why not? So here is our mint green light. And I'll do this bit first. So I think for here I'm going to make it darker near the centre. And then fade towards the edge, like that. I don't know why. Why not? Mm 
there we go and then these on the tip and then less as we go down sort of mix it into the colours there already like that it's having fun mm. yeah, so no I don't know what to do when a house alarm goes off Although my neighbour used to, hers used to sometimes go off and I would check on her because she is a bit um, tentative, shall we say. And uh, But hers only ever went off if it was being serviced. So I would hear it going off and I would peep out. And if I could see the van of the company that she used to service, it was the same company that I used for mine, so I knew who they were, then I would just ignore it do this one with just one colour. I think I could do, would like it quite bold. So I'm going to pick the Viridian, which is quite a dark colour. Just got to sharpen it. Here it is, Viridian. I was thinking, I'm sure I've done this picture quite a few times before. Oh, wobbly lead. I'll try it. It might just go. Um, but I have copied two colours of copies, not colours, copies of Magical Jungle before. Sort of done it at least twice. But I'm thinking, is this a double page? I've got three copies of Magical Jungle. I think I've got four. But I've coloured in three. One of them's not finished. I'm wondering if I've done it in the not finished one, but I'm not sure. I can't remember. I haven't done any in the other one for ages. It was bound to happen, wasn't it? sharpener's a bit full. We'll see if we can get it. Um, my, um, yeah, I think we'll, we'll use a sort of bluntish one so we don't risk breaking it again. Um, yeah, my other copy, my third copy is where I follow tutorials and, uh, I haven't got many that I want to do in it left really because, uh, but I thought maybe rather than always following a tutorial, I might just copy other people's pictures. You know, obviously crediting them with it, not just pretending it was my own work. Now, I'm thinking permanent green. I want something nice and bright and pretty. Here he is. Permanent green. Now, let's do this stem. should have sharpened this a bit and I'm gonna sort of fade to the tip but all the way like that yeah okay I think I'm going to stop soonish though on this page I don't feel like I've done very much though, but it's quite a biggie, isn't it? Might have to have three videos. I think the ring-tailed lemur is quite cute. I coloured one. Is it Hannah Carlson's Spirit Animals has got one in? There's a girl with glasses and a ring-tailed lemur. It's a spare animal. It's a very cute picture. Now I'm thinking I want these tips just in a different colour. But I was um, I was going to do it in pink, but I think that's just silly. Um, I'm going to grab the um, raw umber, if I can find it. Where are you, raw umber? There it is. And just do a little touch of raw umber on the end of each leaf. Just like it's been dip dyed. My sister's hair looked like that last time I saw her. No, the time before. She dyed it and it had just grown a lot. And uh, <laughs> I said, if you had a dip dye, she was like, no, it's just my colours growing out. <laughs> it's quite funny. Um, I think I'm just going to do this little vine and then we'll make that do for today. So I'm just going to pick a colour. 
Um, where should we go? What's that colour? Yeah, the Prussian. That's a good colour. Prussian green. I didn't want anything too light because our Lima um, will be, needs to be fairly dark. Now I'm just going to put a lot of layers on the stalky bit, the vine. Now you could make it darker at the bottom and try and make it look a bit more three-dimensional. But no, I'm just going to colour it in nice and dark and heavy. If you're doing this and you want yours heavy, don't press too hard. Go back and forth like this and build up your layer of colour. So you don't indent the page. There we go. little bit in between his feet. Well, foot and hand. Paws. Let's say paws. I'm trying to decide what to do with the little leaves. I don't think I want them just completely dark like this stem. I want them to stand out a little bit. These stems remind me of my bindweed in my garden. My bindweed attacks me from every side in the summer in the garden. It comes from my neighbour on the left. I have two houses on the back which have it and the house on the right. So it's coming through from every direction and I usually try and fight it and pick it and stop it. This year there's an amazing bit of bindweed tumbling over my neighbour's fence onto my back fence and it just looks like a waterfall of bindweed. It's a really thick bushy bit and it just tumbling over it just looks really I think it looks really pretty even though I know it's a weed hence the name vine weed and all that and it's flowering at the moment so it's got its white flowers um little trumpety flowers if you if you don't know what it looks like and uh it's looking really pretty so I've actually decided to try and guide it onto the fence and wind it round the fence so that it's actually encouraged to grow into a big bindweed bush. The problem with bindweed though, um, apart from the fact that it just spreads everywhere, it's really really easy to weed. You just pull it and pull it and pull it. Sometimes if it's coming through from my neighbour and I start weeding and I'm pulling it, it feels like I might pull their house down. I'm like pulling like it's a rope, you know, pull, pull, pull. <laughs> quite funny. So what I've done with these leaves is I didn't talk to you about what I was doing. I just tried to fade them towards the tip. It didn't really work. So they do look the same colour as the stem but I don't really mind. But I am going to make that do for today because I don't want to have a massively long video. There's a lot going on here. We can come back tomorrow and do some more. So um, I'm going to just try and straighten the book. There we go. And uh, you see that I've got a bit of a glare at the top of my lamp but uh, there we go so that's what we've done so far lots of different greens but we've got a good choice of greens in our um, castles and we've still got greens we haven't used so we can use different greens still for some of these other bits um, which is good and we've got the flowers to go which will be fun and a bit more colour um, rather than just green all the time but um, anyway um, I think that's enough tale of bindweed <laughs> but thank you for watching today and um, please pop back tomorrow for the next one and uh, see what I do with the rest I've got no idea so we'll find out together but thank you for watching have a really super day and happy colouring <laughs>